Do you see that right there? Brand new construction homes, a lot of people working. I'm about to show you every single new construction home development going on right now in Chatham County, Georgia. So if you're planning on moving, this is a perfect video for you. Let's check it out. Well, guys, we're going to take a look at 19 communities, 19, okay? All over the same county, different zip codes. We're going to see Pooler, Point Wentworth, Savannah, and Bloomingdale, all right? I'm about to explain to you a few things, so pay very close attention to it. We're going to start with Bloomingdale. As you know, I'm on Little Neck Road, about to turn left into Edgewater, which is the first community that we're about to see. Edgewater by Lenar, okay? The price ranges in this community go anywhere from $290,000 all the way to $385,000. Just so you know, though, every single price that you're about to hear in this video could change at any time. Just a quick disclosure for you. Now, this community, just like any other community on this video, they also have an HOA, Homeowners Association. This one is $352 quarterly, not a year, quarterly, $352. And it gives you access to the clubhouse, the pool, and the playground. Now, let me tell you this, though. I got two disclosures for you. Number one, this is not a rating. I am not rating communities from whatever I think is best to worst at all. I don't get paid for making these videos, okay? Just so you know, I wanted to be very clear about that. I don't have any preferences. I just organize this video by the zip code just to make it easier for you and things like that, all right? Number two, you're gonna see something that doesn't match too, too well when you look up these communities on Google. You're gonna see that they say Savannah, but then I'm telling you that it is Bloomingdale. Why is that? Well, if you look them up on the GPS, they're gonna say Bloomingdale, okay? I just bought a home myself recently on one of these communities. All of my paperwork says Bloomingdale. My Amazon address says Bloomingdale. My mailing address says Bloomingdale. But guess what? My taxes says Savannah, Georgia. So these properties right here in this area that you're about to see, they do have a double tax, all right? The ones within the first few minutes of this video. They have the city of Savannah taxes and they have the Chatham County taxes. So. Let's go. Number two, Meadow Lakes by Dream Finders Home. This is down the street from the first community that you saw. That's the entrance. They are on phase one out of how many? I don't know, but they just started this community. The price go anywhere from 329,000 all the way to 420,000 plus, depending on your upgrades and etc. okay? They don't have any amenities yet, but they are gonna have an HOA, which is $550 a year i assume that they're gonna have a pool playground and just the basic things like that so there you have it dream finder homes right next to the other ones little neck row so check them out let's go now to number three which is candom crossing by Contour homes and smith family homes right so you got two builders in the same exact community i'm here on little neck road about to turn left into candom crossing guys this community they have homes starting Three bedrooms, four bedrooms, even five bedrooms. More like a, you know, bigger homes. They don't have huge lots. As you can see on the video, they are uh, somewhat close to each other, all right? So the HOA is $600 a year, and it gives you access to the playground and the pool, which, by the way, they're still building the pool. The pool, the pool is not finished, as you can see on this video. They're in the process of building. <laughs> On to number four, Cottage Road by Contra Homes and Smith Family Homes. Guys, this one is next to Candom Crossing. They share the same exact HOA, right? And you're going to see smaller homes starting three bedrooms all the way to four bedrooms, either single story or two story. The price range is anywhere from $290,000 all the way to $342,000. Keep in mind that could change at any time if you're watching this video a few months later. So there you have it. That's another option for you. I would recommend you to take some screenshots or pictures of these names. Then you can do your own research later one by one or just call me. I can help you. All right. Back to the other one. Number five, Cobblestone Village by D.R. Horton. Guys, this community also have an HOA, which is $550 a year. They do have a playground, but I don't see anywhere that they're going to be building a pool. All right. Anyway, let's see what happens later. But the price range as of right now is $342,000 all the way to almost $400,000. Okay. Now, the $400,000 would be more on the two-story homes if you get some upgrades, okay? So this is me driving through this community. 
so you can have a better picture of how they look like in person, okay? I'm not gonna go inside of the homes giving you every single little detail about everything because everything could change at any time. I just wanted to put it out there, take a screenshot, put them on your note list or whatever it is, and let's continue to the next community now, which is The Pines at New Hampstead by D.R. Horton, all right? The Pines at New Hampstead. This one, guys, they already finished the first two phases, so they're going to continue building later, right? If you go to their website right now, it just says coming soon. I have a video already on my channel of this community, so you can have a better, you know, a, a better picture of it, right? So the price range is going to start at $347,000, and they do have an HOA, which is $216 quarterly, all right? Quarterly. Something important to know is none of these builders on these videos, they're going to do customizations for you, okay? Yes, you can choose your color in terms of flooring, carpet, cabinet, but not customizations. <sighs> Number seven is Fur Cloth at New Hampstead. Guys, this one is a coming soon community. I don't have anything else to tell you about it besides the price range is going to be similar to the other ones and the HOA as well, okay? No model home. Now, if you Google this builder, you're going to see the type of work that they do they look nice okay so keep that in mind and let's continue with the video real quick if you are from out of the state of georgia and you have no idea how to compare savannah with pooler maybe pooler with richmond hill or maybe hinesville i got something special for you and it's called the out of the state buyer's guide okay so go to the description of this video or just look in the comments because i'm going to leave it in the comments go there download it and I promise you that it will help you a lot when it comes to getting familiarized with these areas down here, okay? So do that and let's get back to the video. Number eight, Oakwood at New Hampstead by Kate Hovnanian Homes. Guys, I do have one under contract here, so shout out to my client Placido. The edge rate on this one is $550 a year and it gives you access to the pool. As you can see, it's only on phase one. They barely open up um, the reservations so people can start, uh, start purchasing homes. So you're going to find here six different floor plans, okay? Some of them are single story, some of them are two story, some of them are vinyl siding, and some of them have um, fiber cement or hardy planks. Now, when it comes to prices, they range anywhere from $420,000 all the way to $500,000 plus. I'm about to show you a video that I took for a client, okay? This home is not even staged. I took it with my cell phone. It was a very casual, informal video. So I wanted to just give you a, a quick peek of this so This model. is the Santa Rosa 2 model. That's uh, fiber cement or hardy planks, right? Yep. Let's take a look at this thing. This one costs 535000 just as is right now, new construction. So here you have a bedroom right there, bathroom, another bedroom right there. Here you have closet. Right. You have that right there. This is an office space. Closet space. Well, guys, this is the master bedroom, okay? And I'm about to show you the kitchen later, but check this master bathroom. This is amazing. I'm telling you, this is one of the best uh, qualities in terms of the materials. That's why even though the homes are not huge, uh, they're a little bit pricier than the other ones just because of the, the type of material that you use. You're, you're about to understand it now with this kitchen and the living room area. Okay, this is not finished, not staged, but check this out, guys. Look how beautiful this kitchen is. Look at the island, how big in the space, all the sliding doors. Anyway, number nine, the Palms at New Hampstead by Beacon New Homes. Let's check this one out. This one, guys, the HOA is $400 a year. The price ranges anywhere from $390,000 all the way to $420,000 or so, okay? You're going to see a single-story, two-story homes. Some of them have brick. Some of them have vinyl siding, all right? Something that I've noticed in this community, though, there is a lot of investors buying homes to keep as rentals, okay? Because it's not too far from the, 
the new Hyundai Plantation. All right, so I just wanted to give you guys uh, at least that insight uh, of it, all right? So this is just a man-made island and pond, and that's pretty much it. So check them out. That's another option for you. Number 10, Aspire at New Hampstead by K. Havnanian Homes. This one, guys, I don't have much to tell you about it. I don't have uh, much information, but it's going to be similar to the, the other ones that they have and probably the same HOA. That's one of the floor plans they, they're going to be offering. And like I said, I don't have the details about the price range, nothing like that. But at least that's what you can find on their website. So there you have another option. Now let's go to another zip code, 31419 South Savannah, and check out all the other ones. Number 11, Till Lake by Lennar. I have a whole video about this community on my channel. So if this is your first time, go check those videos, all right? So the price range here is anywhere from $321,000 all the way to $378,000. The HOA is $462,000 a year. And as you can see, you can find homes from either single story, two stories. The majority of them are just vinyl siding, okay? So some of them are going to have maybe a little bit of a brick detail or stone detail, but that's pretty much it. I want to answer one question that I get uh, asked a lot, and it, it is this. Do they typically negotiate the price? Is it negotiable? What can I do about it? The answer is they rather negotiate with anything else but the price, right? When it comes to buying a brand new construction home, they rather give you an incentive. They rather just put some blinds on the windows for you or maybe just give you a fridge or maybe give you money towards closing costs. But they are not going to be dropping the price because if they do that for you, it's going to be reflected on all of the other appraisals and it's going to be publicly displayed on how much the home sold, which is not convenient for them, right? So there you have it. Number 12, Bradley Point by Landmark 24, okay? I have nothing but good things to say about Landmark 24. I think they're a great builder too. So let's get to it. This one, guys, the HOA is $450 a year, which gives you access to a clubhouse, the gym, tennis courts, playground, and the pool, okay? I think it's one of the best uh, HOA in terms of how much you can get for your money. So $400 a year, and you get access to all of that. The price range here is anywhere from $342,000 all the way to $386,000, okay? You're going to find homes that are single story, two stories. Some of them have vinyl. Some of them have a little bit of a brick. But anyway, just as usual, nothing fancy, but that is definitely a good option in one of the best areas that we have in the county, which is South Savannah, all right? Now, let's go take a look at another community, which is... Sweetwater Station by Landmark 24 once again, okay? Now, this one, guys, you're going to find homes that are ranging from $365,000 all the way to $430,000. They're going to offer you eight different floor plans that, of course, you can choose from. They're not a custom builder, but you can choose some of the colors um, depending on the stage of the construction, okay? The HOA on this one is $414 a year, okay? $414 a year. Now, honestly, you don't get much out of it besides just common area maintenance. And, of course, you're going to have the covenants and rules so you, don't have, so you don't have any crazy neighbors next to you, which is fine, of course. I, I think a lot of people like that. But <clears throat> nothing else out of the HOA, okay? I wanted to say something about South Savannah, though. South Savannah is the number two area when it comes to the amount of people buying and selling. It is a very active area, which is good because it gives you more access to inventory. But also, if for whatever reason you need to move, you're not going to have a hard time keeping your home as a rental if you want to keep it as an investment, okay? Which is something that you need to think about. Yes, you can find cheaper homes somewhere else, but if you move out and you want to keep it as a rental, it's going to be tough to just keep a home as a rental in the middle of nowhere. So it's South Savannah and Pooler, you're not going to have any issues with that at all. Continuing with the video, this is a real footage of how this community looks like in October 2024, okay? This is all the way at the end of the community. I want to tell you something. Pay attention to when I post the videos because I've gotten calls lately from people who saw a video of me two years ago and they're asking me, hey, is this home available? Of course it's not. That was two years ago. So always pay attention to that. 
So if you got any question, you know where to find me. Let's continue now to another area, which is Pooler, Georgia, the number one area in the entire county. We're going to see three communities right here. Number 14, Forest Lakes by Landmark 24. I got two properties under contract right here, right now. All right. This one, guys, is more of a higher end community compared to the other ones. OK, the HOA is one thousand three hundred and four dollars a year and it gives you access to the clubhouse, the pool, the playground. All right. And common area maintenance. Now, when it comes to prices is starting at five hundred and twenty seven thousand dollars plus. That means you can find homes for six hundred and fifty, six hundred and seventy five, even seven hundred thousand dollars. OK. I want to say something about this, though. When it comes to Forest Lakes, guys, the majority of the things that you're paying for here is a prime location, okay? You are very close to the best areas of Polar, Georgia. And I, like I said before, Polar, Georgia is the number one area in the entire county when it comes to the amount of sales. Everyone wants to live in Polar, and those that don't want to live in Polar is because they don't like the lifestyle that Polar have to offer, and they rather just find something more like in the country and things like that. But if that's not you, I know you're going to like Pooler too. Let's go to the other one. Number 15, Savannah Quarters by Lennar and Dear Horton. And by the way, there is another one coming up here in Savannah Quarters by Dream Finders Homes. Okay. Now, Savannah Quarters is not known for having small homes. This, where you're looking on the screen right now, is the smallest homes that you're going to see in Savannah Quarters. Why? Because Savannah Quarters is more of a resort lifestyle, higher end. They have mega mansions in, in Savannah Quarters. They have homes worth $8 million, $9 million, $5 million, $2 million, okay? Now, they did this to have older people uh, come into the community with more affordable housing, but they give you access also to the same exact amenities. <laughs> Number 16, Telfer Park by Mungo Homes right here in Pooler. Guys, this one you're going to see homes on the mid 300s all the way to mid $400,000, okay? There you go. That's the pool of the community and the clubhouse. You're going to see homes here that are single story, two stories, and they, of course, have an HOA, which is $750 a year. Now, I check here while I was making this video, and there's only nine homes available, okay? nine so that means if you're calling me after nine months of watching this video you're probably not going to see anything available at that point now something important that i need to tell you is this telfer park belongs to the savannah quarters brand and just so you know savannah quarters is not necessarily in savannah savannah quarters is just the brand of the community okay but this one is not on the gated side of savannah quarters this one is across the street from the gated community near the costco in pooler okay but this is more of a lower end, more low key, more normal, more affordable type of housing. But yes, you do have uh, the same brand of Savannah Quarters. And what you're looking on the screen are some of the homes that they are still in the process of building. These are the ones facing the pond. I had a complaint about this community at some point, and it was because they built some homes that are basically facing, not facing, but the backyard uh, looks towards the highway, I-95, which is a very uh dense and high traffic area okay now let's go to another area of the county in port wentworth georgia we're gonna see three other new construction communities right here starting with number 17 brookline by who by landmark 24 once again all right so this one guys they also have an hoa which is 704 dollars for the whole year okay the price starts at $380,000 all the way to mid 400s, okay? You're going to see homes that are single story, some of them are two story, the majority of them are just going to be vinyl, and as you can see from the from the drone view, the land lots are not big, okay? They're not extremely separated from each other. It's a normal average community in terms of um like the amenities and the lifestyle that it offers, okay? But it is a good option for all of you guys who want to be closer to Pooler, Savannah, and Port Wentworth at the same time, I think uh, this area is basically the sweet spot of all of that. Number 18, Waterside at Rice Hope by D.R. Horton. I also have some properties under contract on this community, guys. And the HOA on this one is $126 a month, okay? $126 a month. Now, you're going to have multiple amenity centers on this one. 
You're going to have a pool. You're going to have a gym. Playgrounds everywhere. They have a dog park. You can walk your dog. You can do a lot of things in this community. This is a huge community, okay? Just so you know. You're going to see homes um, that range from two bedrooms all the way to five bedrooms, okay? Two bedrooms to five bedrooms, and they start at 279000 all the way to $411,000. Let's take a look at these other two model homes from DR Horton. So you can see those are two stories, okay? They're going to be a little bit pricier than the ones that are single story, okay? I think DR Horton is the only one that offer two bedroom homes new constructions all right so let's go to the very last community of this video which is rice creek by landmark 24 once again landmark 24 guys they do have a bunch of projects going on in the county this one the hoa is 440 dollars a year and it gives you access to the pool the clubhouse and the playground now when it comes to the price of homes they start at 349 thousand and they uh, go all the way to $391,000. All right, guys, there you have it. You got my number right there on the screen. If there's anything that I can help you with when it comes to real estate in this area, whether it's Savannah, Pula, Richmond Hill, Hinesville, that's my number. Just text me, call me, email me, and I'll get back with you. Talk to you soon.